more general terms, what these kinds of weapon systems like the M1 tank, the Leopard 2, uh, the Strikers, the Martyrs, it gives them an offensive uh, mechanized armored punching force that can uh, carry out offensive, create penetrations in the Russians' lines. Um, and uh, that also potentially can produce surprise and shock. So uh, the M1A1 tanks, along with the Leopard 2s, uh, are the crew is much safer because the ammunition for those two types of tanks are outside of the where the crew is sitting in the turret. And so, if a if if an M1 tank or a Leopard 2 tank is hit uh, and everything is right in the turret the rounds go up and out. Whereas on a T-72 tank, the rounds are inside the, the turret with the crew and they're much more prone to, uh, to, to be set off um, and cause catastrophic damage to the tank crew and the tank itself. As, as many uh, senior U.S. Uh, DOD, Department of Defense, and policy leaders have mentioned, the problem with the U.S. tank uh, is fuel consumption. What it gives the Ukrainians is a very sophisticated uh, fire control system. Uh, the fire control system that controls the main gun on the tank, uh, which if it is, uh, if it is uh, aligned or what we call bore-sighted correctly, and if the true is well-trained, uh, well uh, it can hit a moving target out to 2,000 or uh, 2,000 meters on the move um, across rough terrain. As an example, uh, it has a night vision capability, um, has a laser rangefinder, 
and it has a very good protective capability uh, for the crew uh, in the tank. 